Hey, this is Technolanix and you are watching the video review of Android 4.3 Jelly Bean on HTC One X running Cyanogen Mod 10.2, the latest ROM from Cyanogen Mod. So here we start with the lock screen. The lock screen is basically the entire copy of AOSP ROM which Google supplies to its Nexus phones. You can see there are all, there are all the traditional home screens available on the lock screen. The when you swipe. When you swipe to the right of the lock screen, you get the traditional um, camera um, screen, and on the left, you get various home screens. Here, you can see I have set up a home screen of Player Pro widget. On left, you swipe again, and then you get an option to add more widgets to the screen. So here, I'm we try up with this widget. So here, so uh, we've got the widget of the music player on our lock screen on the go. You can just go to your uh, required app from the on the go from your lock screen. So let's start with the home screen now. Here you can see a widget provided by Cyanogen Mod which is quietly good. The launcher widget runs is called as Trebuchet Launcher and it's quite smooth, very snappy and having 0% lag. You can see the transitions are same as that we get on our Nexus phones. You can add various widgets to the home screen by just going to the app drawer and selecting widgets of your choice. You have also the Google search option as a persistent search bar on your home screen. You need not go to the required home screen for your search. You can just use it from anywhere from the home screen. So here I click on it and we start with our Google search, Google Now. Let's just check out our version. I hope you, if you can see it, model number is HTC One X, Android 4.3, baseband version S12054, whatever. Kernel version is the same, is uh, provided by Cyanogen Mod. You need not download it externally. The build number is here. And here is the Cyanogen Mod updates option. You can check your daily. Uh, um, you, you can check various updates provided by Cyanogen Mod daily or weekly. Um, there are various versions of Cyanogen Mod. This is a nightly version, and we, are, we hope that we'll get a stable version uh, in the near future. These four are what you get with Cyanogen Mod. These are the home screen settings. That is the settings that you can apply on your launcher. It is a launcher which is running manually. These are many options given like grid size, home screens, you know, on the default screen, you can stretch the screens, you can increase the length of the screen in the home screens, you, uh, you can uh, switch off or switch on the persistent search bar. Uh, there are lots of transition effects given by the launcher as tab there, zoom in, zoom out uh, and many more. Uh, you can also uh, set on or set off the scrolling of wallpaper behind. Um, you can choose the wallpaper size and show outlines you can show outlines on the home screen and fade screen means while swiping you can see the home screen fading off so if you can see it you can see the fading effect and the outlines coming along with the swiping of the screen so this is what the settings available for home screen now let's get back there are similar features you can apply to the drawer like uh, orientation and uh, you can hi even hide widgets apps from the drawer you have the same transition effects fade app fade pages uh, same as you get on your uh, home screens you can also set mm, uh, your manual settings to the dock you can also switch off or switch on the dock divider and that's it then we come on to Themes. This is some additional feature which um, Cyanogen Mod provides to this launcher, and which is not given, which, which is not provided by any other launchers like Venom or uh, the AOKP or any other ROMs um, in the market. So here I can uh, choose different themes, and you can even download it from the Play Store. I've downloaded this theme called the TouchWiz theme, and now I'm going to apply it. So you can see the changes to the launcher now. May take some time to switch. It's 
so yeah you you can see how different the settings uh, menu looks right now and you can also see the notification drawer has changed drastically you can also see the toggles which have changed the icons and the background of the toggles have has changed uh, in the interface you can uh, choose many options for the status bar or means you can switch or you can uh, choose between am and pm styles you can sh uh, you can uh, just hide it or you can have small letters or anything like that you can also switch the battery status option with a circle or a circle with percentage and uh, many more in the quick settings panel you can switch this thing on and you can just swipe from the right to directly get your settings panel you need not so you need not uh, go to the um, status bar and then uh, click on the button you just need to pull the notification bar from the right and then you have it there are many more and you can even add or you can add tiles to the notification bar all features like this quite fast and uh, without any lag you can see uh, what Android has tried to give on its Nexus phones with Android 4.3 uh, it has just improved the framework and the uh, frames of the, of the uh, software uh, there are small uh, updates to the camera given the applications the options come like an arc on the screen uh, there's no much difference uh, in the, from the previous one, but yeah, it's quite good. Cyanogen mod provides you with this music player, that is Apollo music player, which is quite good. It has albums, artists, and a recent play playlist, which is quite a handful to use, and it's on the go. The calendar is the same as what we get on our, uh, what we get on our Google Play Store. You can switch between. Uh, day or week or monthly calendar as you want as you prefer calculator is the same but here you can see it's a nightly version so we can't switch on the calculator the clock is the same as what we get previously having three tabs the dial is the same Everything is working fine. Quite good. Yeah, you can see how smooth and how fast it's looking. The gallery app hasn't been updated much, but the frames of the app has have been improved significantly. This is it, guys. Uh, this was a review of Cyanogen Mod 10.2 running Android 4.3. Jelly Bean OS. Um, if you like this video, please click thumbs up and uh, subscribe the channel for more videos. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks once again.